Yankee here. I want to take a little time today to answer a question that I was asked by a viewer the other night in my live chat because I think the question is kind of interesting and I think the answer is going to surprise some people. In fact, it's going to make some people mad. But, you know, everything you do on here makes some people mad nowadays. Uh, there are some very sensitive little people out there. So, you know, you can either tiptoe around them or you can just ignore them and go on with your life. So I'm going to ignore them and answer this question. And the question was, what do I think is the most overrated handgun caliber? And I think they kind of anticipated what I was going to say because they said, and why is it 45 ACP? Now, a lot of people know I'm not a big fan of 45 ACP. It is incredibly overrated. Because as far as performance goes these days, uh, it just doesn't keep up with other calibers. Even 9mm, I think, is better. I think 9mm has better penetration, you get more rounds, and if loaded properly, you can generate just about as much energy. The only thing 45 ACP go has going for it is that it is fat, that it has a big diameter. That's why people say, well, I carry 45 because they don't make a 46, implying that the fact that it's large makes it good. But that actually plays against it. Uh, with modern powders and modern technology, modern bullets, uh, the 45 is just too limited. It's really hard out of a casing that size to make a bullet that big perform very well. And when they try to make them perform uh, better, you know, try to make them hotter, well, that's really a lot of wear on the guns because it just really doesn't lend itself. That big bullet is hard to get moving at a speed where it's going to do anything impressive. You'd be better off loading up 45 Colt. So I am not a big fan of 45 ACP, and we all know there's a certain group of people just love 45 ACP. Uh, we know who they are. We know what they look like. Uh, we know they're the same people whose balls touch the uh, water while they sit on the toilet. And they are, are very staunch defenders of 45 ACP. But 45 ACP is not actually the answer to this question as far as I'm concerned. And I know this is where a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're just saying that because you don't want a bunch of octogenarians uh, very slowly um, marauding up your driveway with torches uh, mounted to their walkers and pitchforks attached to uh, their canes. Uh, but that's not the reason that I'm not saying it's 45 ACP. Uh, I'm not really afraid of those people coming. Uh, I'll just walk slowly away or go up a flight of stairs. I'll be perfectly safe. But like I said, I just don't think it is 45 ACP. The answer I think, and this is going to make some people angry, is 10 millimeter. I think 10 millimeter is the most overrated handgun caliber around. I think uh, there's a lot of reasons why it is so. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying 10 millimeter is not a good round. I think everyone knows I love 10 millimeter. If I'm gonna carry a semi-auto, I want it to be a 10 millimeter. If I'm gonna carry a 1911, I want it to be a 10 millimeter. If I wanna carry a Glock, I want it to be 10 millimeter. I think 10 millimeter is probably the best semi-automatic cartridge. It's the perfect combination of power, capacity, reliability, etc. It's the best combination of those things you can get in a semi-auto. And I know some people make, oh, but this is more powerful. Yeah, those are like, conversions and all this other stuff. And I'm talking about readily attainable ammo that is powerful, reliable. The guns don't re rely on uh, unreliable conversions to make them more powerful. So 10 millimeter does all that. I think it's the best semi-automatic caliber overall. Definitely better than 45 ACP, better than nine millimeter and better than 40 if it's loaded correctly. And everyone knows I love 40. Hell, I've run the Save the 40s campaign. Because here's the reality, if you save the 40s, you also save the 10 millimeter. Because if 40 became our predominant caliber in this country, well then 10 millimeter would also be saved, be, be more predominant. Because if you're gonna make guns chambered for 40, you might as well drill the chamber just a little deeper, make the guns a little strong, make 10 millimeters also. And then you can chamber them down to 40. So that's why I think we should get away from that pansy European T-sipping 9mm. And I've told people that many times. I've still got that program running. So 10mm, I think, is the most overrated round. And why do I think that, even though I think it's the best semi-automatic round? Uh, because it convinces people that it's as good as, 10 mil, as good as 357 Magnum. And some people even think it's as good as 44 Magnum. And it just isn't. Some people will say, well, I was going to get a 357 Magnum revolver, but I just got 10 millimeter instead. Same thing. Well, it isn't. It isn't the same thing. 
If I was going to go out camping, hiking, I would much rather have a 357 Magnum. I'd rather have a 44 Magnum or a 454 Casul, which are still usable, reliable, etc., in revolvers and give you much more of an advantage against large game or medium sized, two legged game even. So I think that's why it's so overrated because people think it's so good that there's no reason to move to the better, more powerful calibers like 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 454 Casul. I see people going uh, up uh, uh, camping in Alaska saying, ah, I'm fine, I got my Glock 20. Well, I'm like, well, if I was you, I'd rather have a 454 Casul or I'd rather have a 4570 rifle even. But if I was gonna stick to a handgun, I'd rather have something, like I said, like a 460, a 454, at least a 44 Magnum. And a lot of people say, well, yeah, but the 10 millimeter is just about as powerful and I get more of them. Well, for one, if a bear charges at you, you're not going to get a lot of shots in. And two, no, it isn't. It isn't as powerful. It isn't as capable. 44 is much more powerful, much more capable. But 10 millimeter, because it's gotten such a reputation as being the ultimate, you know, semi-automatic round, has convinced people there's no need to go up to more powerful guns when there definitely is, especially under circumstances like, you know, you're going into bear country, you're uh, going places where there's large moose that you might get attacked by, or Arkansas where everybody's real big and fat. You know, there's plenty of reasons why you would want more than 10 millimeter. So, uh, and I know Mississippi's even fatter than Arkansas, but my, I'm married to someone from Mississippi, so I can't make too much fun of them. Uh, same thing with West Virginia, but I'm from West Virginia, so I can't make fun of them either. Uh, but, like I was saying, that's why I think it's the most overrated caliber, because people have pumped it up in the mindset of the gun community that it's so good that you don't need to move up to the better gun, the revolver, when you absolutely do. So, that's why I think it's the most overrated round. The 45, yeah, it's overrated. A lot of people think it's a lot more than it is. But no one thinks a 45 is a 357 Magnum or is a, uh, even a 45 Colt, much less a 44 Magnum. I just don't think people believe that. If they want something for bear country, they're going to move away from their 45. Uh, but with 10 millimeter, people have been convinced that it's as good and therefore you don't need to upgrade. You don't need to go to the better platform with the more powerful round. And that's just not true. So 10 millimeter can't live up to that reputation and therefore it's the most overrated handgun caliber. Thank you.